Doesn't look like you. Uh, uh, we'll do so. My name is Christopher Bates. V is in Victor. A T E S. I'm the primary investigator of a study, acronym Rampart. R A M P A R T. It stands for the Rapid Anticonvulsant Prior to Arrival Trial. This is an exception from informed consent, EFIC study. What that means is that when we enroll a patient, they will be unconscious and therefore not able to give their formal consent. So it's important that we inform the community members at large via this forum that the study may be running here in the next couple of months and give people the opportunity to comment publicly. We would do that anyway, but it's also pursuant to federal guidelines. This is an exception from informed consent, EFIC study. What that means is that when we enroll a patient, they will be unconscious and therefore not able to give their formal consent. So it's important that we inform the community members at large via this forum that the study may be running here in the next couple of months and give people the opportunity to comment publicly. We would do that anyway, but it's also pursuant to federal guidelines. A public meeting on the 23rd at the Med Center, Hershey Medical Center, in case people have questions and would like to make public comment. The Rampart study involves people that have uh, status epilepticus. Status epilepticus is a condition whereby they are seizing continuously. Most seizures terminate self spontaneously within five minutes. Some people, when they seize, continue to seize. That's a problem. Most times if they call EMS, when EMS gets to the scene, that seizure has already stopped. But if someone is in status epilepticus, it is a life-threatening emergency, and the statistics are that 50 to 55,000 people across the United States die every year from the complications of status epilepticus, and those complications can in include direct brain damage, but most commonly hypoxia, meaning their oxygen level drops because during the seizure they are not breathing adequately. There are multiple medications at work, almost all of them in the same class, Valium, uh, Lorazepam, dia um, Diazepam's Valium uh, generic, um, and, and Midazolam, but they can be used by different routes. And what no one has ever studied is what is the fastest route to get somebody to stop seizing. Up till now, if anybody in this room fell over on the floor and began seizing, 911 would be summoned, they would come, and while you're doing the funky chicken on the floor, they're trying to put an IV in your arm. Obviously a hazard to the patient, obviously a hazard via bloodborne pathogen exposure to the medics with a sharp needle. What we're trying to figure out is, is it safer to give an intramuscular injection into the thigh in the same manner that you might have seen someone allergic to bees give themselves an injection with an epinephrine pen? So we have two active medications. We don't know which is better. How would the study work? Someone, child or adult, over 13 kilograms, falls to the floor seizing. Someone summons 911. Upon their arrival, if that patient is still seizing, their blood sugar is over a spe specified limit, and it's not a trauma. It's not like a car wreck that induced the seizure. They would be enrollable. The other thing that they would check for is one of these. This is important. This is a Rampart Decline Bracelet. If any member of the public does not wish to be enrolled, especially people with a pre-existing history of seizures, we can give them one of these. If they say, I don't want to be a part of any study, they wear this, they don't get enrolled. That's simple. Okay. They would then enroll the patient, open a box, begin recording what would happen into an audio recorder. They would give an intramuscular injection of medication. They would then establish an, an IV line and give a second medication. They would have no idea which medication was being given. It's a double-blind study that is shielded from the patient and from the medics delivering it. But every patient, and this is one of the most important parts of the study, every patient gets active drug. There is no one out there that's going to be seizing that's going to get just saline and continue to seize. Everybody gets active drug, either one in the muscle or one in the... At that point, they would be taken to the hospital, hopefully Hershey Medical Center, because that way it makes my, my life easy. I would ask their permission at that point to continue to, to monitor their medical records for 24 hours, and we determine over the course of time which, study, which drug is best. At that point, they would be taken to the hospital, hopefully Hershey Medical Center, because that way it makes my, my life easy. I would ask their permission at that point to continue to, to monitor their medical records for 24 hours, and we determine over the course of time which, study, which drug is best. About in the Hershey area, and we're only going to be running this study via the Lifeline EMS uh, agency, so you're only really talking about North London, Darien, Palmyra. 
Uh, You're going to run it. Uh, until 880 people uh, are accrued nationwide. But as an estimate for you, probably by calendar year end 2010, 800. Does this add any cost to the patient, no, to the victim? None. Any place else, but generally speaking, it's just those two municipalities. That's right. It will not be running via Lifeline rotary wing aircraft because they would never be the first responder to a seizure patient. So we're not even going to stock the drug in the aircraft. Okay. It will only be running via Lifeline ground. And it's conceivable that anyone within a bordering community where mutual aid might occur from Lifeline EMS that they could be enrolled. It is further conceivable that anyone, anyone that works within Lebanon County but commutes into Dauphin for a job, to go to Chocolate World, whatever, and seized would be enrollable at that point as well. So you're going to see multiple websites. You can get on there and call a number or in, via uh, the website, ask for an opt-out bracelet, um, and it simply says Rampart declined. So if yeah. yeah, we have a Rampart accepted bracelet. We have this blue one that indicates you support the study. It just says Rampart. Oh, yellow. <laughs> you mentioned that uh, anyone can experience experience uh, status epileptic. Yes. What what would be an onset for that? Um, what would be a reason? Yeah. One of the most common um, would be cancer. You have an undiagnosed tumor. Um, another would be a benign tumor. Uh, a third could be an electrolyte abnormality, so a low sodium level can cause it for whatever reason. Some psych psychiatric medications can cause that, and uh, for a variety of other reasons, some kidney problems, you can become low, hyponatremic is the technical term, low sodium level, and you can seize. Um, and that's why I'm for 10 milligrams of Versed. Versus a child less than 13 kilograms, 2 milligrams of What is of 13 kilograms in pounds? Uh, 26 to 28. Okay, but you said you would like people to enroll. Am I wrong? I, I, I would, it, it's not, it's not. You only like get enrolled if you have a seizure. That's right. Okay. Okay. In a known condition. Right. There's no sort of, there's no sort of sign up list where if you want to be part of the study, sign up here. Okay. That, that's, that's the nature of EFIC. Okay. Exception from informed consent. Everyone is enrolled unless you opt out. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else?